Hey guys, if you're looking for new rackets, I thought I would give you a couple tips because I, I was and I found a racket that really worked for me and it doesn't, I'm not promoting any rackets or anything like that to be honest because uh, I think everyone has a different, uh, a different racket will fit their needs. But um, I used to use the Blade and I really liked it, the 98S, um, just because it created a lot of good spin and my backhand um, the past couple years was a lot weaker than my forehand, so I felt like I could keep the ball deep with this. Um, it was a little more springy, had a good serve with it, felt like it was a, a very solid racket. Now, you can see that the reason why it's got the, it says S on it for spin is because it doesn't have a lot of uh, crosses, all right? So that means that the boxes are pretty big, so that's gonna give it a lot more power, all right? The problem though is it didn't, get, um, as I increased my ability to hit the ball and really improved by training and everything, I wasn't getting as much control as I used to. And I thought something was going on with my swing, but I kind of found out that I just needed a racket with, uh, that was similar to what the pros do. And I noticed that no pro uses an open string pattern. And this open string pattern means the boxes are pretty big, it's very springy. They're gonna use closed string patterns like these two rackets, these Yonix rackets, okay? So I gave um, a bunch of rackets a shot and I found that one thing is, the old blade is about 294 grams. So I felt like that was a pretty good weight for me. I like about 300 grams is probably my threshold of a racket I feel comfortable with, especially in high altitude tennis with the it's very quick pace here. So I tried um, the V-Core Pro 97. This is a 310 gram racket and it felt slightly heavier than the V-Core 100 Pro, which is about 300 grams. And this is actually the weight that I felt comfortable with. Now, I'm not saying that that's the racket for everyone or at, at all, but I'm saying maybe find the, like what you could do is look at the racket that you have right now. And is it the string pattern that's maybe a problem? If you want more power, try the a more open string pattern. If you need something lighter or heavier, then you can look at the how much weight you have already. But you can kind of find that no matter what, you'll, you'll, you'll gravitate to a certain weight of your racket. And sometimes it's in ounces or grams, doesn't really matter. But that kind of helps you figure out what racket works best for you. And that's really important because uh, I saw a huge difference in a lot of my strokes using something with a closed string pattern versus an open for me, for example. So whatever it is for you guys, give it a shot and hopefully that will help you uh, figure out what racket is best needed for you and maybe you'll find something better. All right, good luck.